Thanks for joining me for today's short scale study. Today, we're gonna to build our tone and technique in a key of concert A flat major. The key of concert A flat has four flats, B flat, E flat, A flat, and our fourth flat, D flat, which today we'll play in fifth position. Let's start by playing our first scale together, the major scale and arpeggio quarter notes. We're gonna start and end on a B, uh, sorry, on an A flat, so make sure that you're playing A flat in third. Also, when we get to the fourth note, D flat, you guessed it, fifth position. One, two, ready. <laughs> If you've made any errors, pause, rewind, and play that scale again. Remember, we're practicing for accuracy because accuracy will breed success later on. Now, let's move on to number two, major scale and arpeggios, eighth notes. Watch out for D flats. One, two, and ready, and go. <laughs> Now we'll move on to our major chords. We'll have B, oh sorry, we'll have D flats in this one for sure. In fact, the second note is D flat in fifth position. We're gonna start though with an A flat third. One, two, major chords go. <laughs> Now we'll move on to the exercise called thirds. This will give us a great workout remembering that D flat. We'll also use the other flats, A flat, E flat, and B flat. In fact, we'll start with an A flat for thirds. Remember, in the key of concert A flat major, our flats are flats B flat, E flat, A flat, and D flat. Those four flats make A flat major. Here we go, thirds. One and two and ready and and. <laughs> That leads us to the chromatic pivot scale. Today's pivot note is E flat in third position. We'll also need a D in fourth position, a D flat in fifth position, and a C in sixth position. After the quarter rest, we'll need a B natural, seventh position, and we'll need a B flat in first position, an A natural in second, and our low A flat in third. One, two, Now let's move on to that chromatic scale. We'll review the notes of the chromatic scale. A flat third position, A natural second position, A sharp or B flat first position. An enharmonic equivalent name for B flat is A sharp. The fourth note we think might be B flat. It's not, we've already played it called A sharp. So the fourth note is seventh position, B natural, followed by sixth position C, 5th position C sharp, 
fourth position, D, third position, D sharp, or E flat's enharmonic equivalent, then E natural second, F in first, F sharp in fifth, G in fourth, and A flat third position. Coming down the chromatic scale, starting in third position A flat, fourth for G, fifth for G flat, or F sharp, first for F. Second position E, third position E flat, fourth position D, fifth position D flat. Last five notes. C in sixth, B natural in seventh, first for B flat, second for A natural, and third for A flat. Let's play our chromatic scale. One, two, ready, begin. B-flats, E-flats, A-flats, and D-flats. D-flats are, are in fifth position. One, two, three, one, ready, and... <laughs> Concert A flat major. I hope this has been helpful. I hope you've enjoyed playing along and we'll play through this page on your own real soon. Remember, you can vary the speed by using your own metronome and changing it. We can be at 60 beats per minute, 70 beats per minute, 80 beats per minute, or pick a tempo that suits your needs. As I always say, I hope to see you again soon. Keep practicing.